All right, so if you guys have not already seen and you live under a rock, me and my business partner for Master. You can't see. Yes, I can. All right, so if you guys have not already seen, for some reason you live underneath a rock, me and my business partner for Mastery Hoops, Coleman, and I recently ran a player development conference in Miami. We had about 120 coaches. Went really well, but throughout the process of planning, organizing, and running the conference, I learned a couple different business principles that change the way that I think and operate on a daily basis. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. And then hopefully you guys can take these same ideas and principles and use them in your own life as well. So let's get into it. So the first principle that I learned and something that I think about a lot more now than I did then was kind of how we started and got the idea for the conference. So one thing that I was reading about at the time was basically tail ends or really the 80-20 principle, right? 20% of the things that you do are going to yield 80% of the results. So for me, I was just thinking, okay, what can we do that is that 20%? What can we do that's that one large thing that's going to yield us huge results, not only now, but down the road as well. And then we basically came up with the idea for the conference. So that's something I think about still to this day as often as I can. Not just what is the little things that I can do every day to grind everything out, but what's the big thing that I can do that's gonna make everything else not really matter. And this is going to yield me the most results. And that's kind of the framework that allowed us to come up with the idea for the conference. And then obviously planning, organizing, and actually executing on that idea. So the second thing following having that idea is actually getting to the process of planning the conference. And one thing again is planning for that plan to not really go as planned. Things are not gonna go as planned all the time. Pretty common knowledge, but you have to plan for that. So we had a plan for, okay, what happens if COVID kind of messes up the conference? Boom, we got a plan for that. What if COVID basically shut, shuts everything down and we can't actually hold the conference in person? Got a plan for that. What happens if a hurricane comes through because it's hurricane season in Miami when we were running it? Got a plan for that. What happens if this happens? Okay, boom, we have as many plans in place as possible for the major things that can go wrong and trying to minimize any other little things that can go wrong and just mitigating those possibilities. So that kind of really just helped us to be prepared for anything that we needed to be prepared for. And then just having all of the pieces in place to eliminate as many variables as possible to make it easier and smoother for us to run the conference the best that we could. And point number three, which ties into that second principle was don't do this all by yourself. So we could have easily tried to plan and do everything ourselves and just had the ideas that we had and ran with it but what we tried to do is reach out to other coaches okay what are you guys looking for in a conference what's something that you guys would love to see okay boom we take those ideas write them down on paper we talk to other business people that have ran and done things similar to this on a high level what are you guys thinking what's some ideas that you guys can run by us that we can take and utilize for the conference talk to people that have ran events and done things like this what can we do what should we expect took notes on that implemented a little bit of that. Got a sponsorship, got to take care of that because we can't really run our day-to-day -day training. Also try to organize the conference as well as try to go do that. So shout out to you, Josh. But yeah, really just trying to get as much advice from people that actually know what they're talking about and take as much of that advice and ideas as we can and implement the best ones that we can into the conference. And that's really been the theme with kind of everything that I do and have been learning over the last couple of years is if you only do everything yourself, you're only gonna get so far. You gotta try to get advice from other people. You gotta trust other people. So we had the camera guys as well that we had to trust. We had interns that were helping us out during the conference. So we could not have done this ourselves. And that's something that we knew from the beginning. We knew we couldn't do this ourselves and it wouldn't be the best it possibly can if we try to do it ourselves. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Get other people involved that you know that can actually help you. All right, so the fourth point and probably the most important point is that if you're gonna do it, do it all the way. We could have easily ran this on a small scale, got 25 people and been comfortable running that. That would have been within our comfort zone, within what we know we could have done. But we decided we really wanted to stretch that, see what we were really possible of putting together. So we got the biggest names that we possibly could. We got the gym that we were going to need. We got all of the resources and people in place that we knew we were going to need for that conference, but without the real guarantee that a certain number of people were gonna show up because it's never really been done before. So it was outside of our comfort zone. We had no idea how successful it really could have been. So we were just putting ourselves out there. You know what? This is the best that we could possibly do. Let's do it and let's just hope the people come, right? So once we released, people started signing up, we realized, okay, this thing's really gonna work. But again, we got all of these trainers, we got the cameramen that we needed, we had all these things lined up that we were gonna have to pay for, but we didn't even have a guarantee for how many people were gonna show up. 
So this was outside of our comfort zone. This was outside of our scope of knowledge because we've never done it before. No one really in this space has done that before. So we didn't really know what to expect. And yes, take a risk. But again, we knew it was a calculated risk that we knew would most likely pay off if we organize this to the way that we wanted to do it. So whatever your first thought is of, okay, I think I can do this, take that a step further, right? We could have thought, okay, we could probably get three of these guys and it would be solid, but why not get eight total people and make this the best that it possibly can? Why not reach for that? And a lot of times, even if you don't execute, maybe it's a little bit worse, but again, it's better than what your initial idea was. So just don't be afraid to get outside your comfort zone, stretch what you think you're capable of doing or what's even been done before, because that's where you're going to yield those big results that are gonna pay off for years to come. So those are the four principles that I learned from running this conference, organizing and all that kind of good stuff, speaking at the conference and something that you guys can take no matter what industry you're in. If you're a basketball player, if you are a basketball trainer, or if you are in a totally different space, you guys can take these principles and think about them on a daily basis going forward to get your business to the next level or to even organize a conference like this with whatever it is that you want to do. So if you guys like this video, drop a like, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button. It really helps us to continue putting out videos like this for you guys. So I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in another video soon. Peace.